Hi, I'm Ella Maxwell from Hair Nursery, your Midday Gardener, and today we're going to talk about topiaries. These are some unique plant forms that can be created with plants from your garden, or it's easier to just maintain the ones that the nursery's created. These topiary forms come in lots of different shapes and sizes, and we're going to look at a couple of them. The first one is on fruit trees, and when these trees are trained to grow in a horizontal plane, like up against a wall, this is called a spalier. You choose this type of pruning practice if you have a very narrow space. You'll need full sun, and you'll want to start with a young tree. You'll use some bamboo poles, and you need to create a framework, and then you can attach the trees to this, and you get that great horizontal effect. You can also do it with Japanese maples. Now there are some other forms like bonsai, poodle, spiral uh, forms that you can do with mostly evergreens. Boxwoods are the easiest evergreens to trim and train and you can even do it with the scissors. Here at the nursery we have some very large forms that we bought in. You can see the rabbit, the chicken, and the bear. These take a long time to trim and they are high maintenance. You'll be trimming probably once a month throughout the entire summer. But there's some smaller and easier forms to establish. There's one called a poodle and that's where you have three balls stacked on top of each other. It would be like a poodle's tail or bonsai where it would look like a miniature sculptured evergreen or a pom-pom with just some balls at the end of the branches. These are all easy to create. The evergreens that are trimmed and trained this way in these topiary figures can be boxwood, arborvitae, spruce, and juniper. You can see that this large juniper has been trained like a saguaro cactus. The boxwood's the easiest to create a topiary form. To do this, you'll need to create some spreaders with some light lumber that you can notch on each end. This helps to keep the branches in position. We also can take some trees to make a living fence. We have two trees that make excellent living fences, a beech and a birch. You can see how narrow these are. This is part of our patio collection and you can use it on your patio. It can stay in the container or be installed in the ground. Topiaries are really fun. They create a focal point in your garden. That'll be your garden treasure. I'm Ella Maxwell from Hair Nursery. Join me next week for more gardening tips.